Hello, this is your daily devotion for Monday, November 2nd, and our reading this morning comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 6, beginning at the fourth verse. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. This brief, rather powerful passage is known as the Shema, and it is, to this day, a part of many Jews' practices. Not so much the tying things on their foreheads or around their wrists, but if you go to many a Jewish household, you will see next to the door, on the door frame, a small metal or wooden plaque with some Hebrew symbols, letters written on it. And inside that plaque, which is called a mezuzah, will be a scroll, a tiny piece of paper upon which are written the Ten Commandments in Hebrew. It is not just there for show, but it is part of their practice, part of their piety to continue to mount these on their doors. We Christians have adopted and not adopted this practice as an Old Testament practice it is not binding upon us. Yet many times we do like to post religious things to um, remind ourselves and perhaps to be seen by others. But I want to remind you and, and inform you that the whole point of posting um, the Ten Commandments in a mezuzah or binding them around the forehead or on the wrist was not so that these things would be seen by others. It was not to impress upon people that you were a Christian or a Jew. Rather, it was meant to impress upon yourself the importance of God's law. Now, as Christians, we also have the gospel for the times when we cannot fulfill the law, but that doesn't mean we disregard the law. We use it, we learn it, because we know it is important for our life. So I encourage you to hear this passage and not think about, well, maybe we should put, you know, the Ten Commandments on the courthouse lawn or things like that. Some people advocate things along those lines. That largely is a symbolic display, which God can see right through. The important part of this, even for a Jew, is not that one be seen with a mezuzah on one's door or one of those bands called a phylactery around one's forehead or, you know, nice looking pious bracelet on the wrist. It's to know the laws, to meditate upon the laws. That's the important part. All those other things are merely reminders, not to other people that a faithful person lives here, but to oneself that one has a duty to reflect upon God's word. As Christians, we regard that as timeless and important for us. So I encourage you to daily take time to reflect on God's word and what it means for you and what God is trying to teach you through it. And if you need to post a little reminder somewhere, that's fine. Just don't make a huge public show of this. We know from things Jesus said later that God is not in any way impressed with huge public shows of piety that are meant to be seen by others. But he's perfectly okay with ones that are meant for yourself. In fact, he encourages it. Let us pray. Help us, O oh Lord, to reflect upon your word day and night when we lie down and when we wake up. And teach us to remember that our piety is meant to deepen our walk with you. Not to be seen by others, so that we might be praised by others. But rather, to simply deepen our walk with you and grow closer to you day by day. Help us, Lord, to do this. As the COVID-19 pandemic flares up again, we pray for all the affected, those who are ill, those who are waiting out tests, those who are caring for loved ones, those who have lost loved ones to this disease, those who have recovered but are not the same, and our healthcare workers and all first responders, that you would be with them and give them strength too. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon.